Moving on to the last e-invoice, which is self-built e-invoice. I would like to show you how can you do a self-built e-invoice in AutoCAM. To find this function in AutoCAM, you have to go to Malaysia e-invoice self-built document. It is almost the same as how you issue a normal invoice. Click on new and you can see this is a self-built entry. You can choose a supplier, add your details and so on. And it also supports the approval flow. As you can see, there is save and approve button. So for this video, I will use an example to show how can you perform the self-build. One of the scenarios where you need to do self-building is cost broader transaction. In a simple way, we call it as importation of goods. Let us move on to master data supplier. We are also able to put in the tax entity, which is your supplier tax information as well. Let's say this is my supplier, Smart Construction Supply. I map the tax entity for them and I click Save. Now we can move on to Purchase, Purchase Invoice. We click on New and choose the supplier Smart Construction Supply. And we tap whichever things that they actually bill us. Let's say Steel Bar. Of course, you can also key in the supplier invoice number and I save. So whenever the items is went through the custom clearance, you had items delivered to you, we will need to do self-building for import goods. So it is actually after your custom clearance and you have a month time to do it. Let's move on to Malaysia e-invoice self-build document. We can click the down arrow beside new and click on copy from purchase invoice. We can search for our purchase invoice that want to do self-build. So the figures, everything will auto-copy to your self-build. You can also see the supply invoice number is copy over here. The details, everything is copy over here. You just need to specify the classification code. So this is importation of goods and you choose the 034 importation of goods. You can also put in your exchange rate. This is just a simulation. We can just leave it and you will need to key in your initial, probably your K1 form. If there is any other fields that you wish to key in, you can key in and we can click approve and send after that. Once we approve, we can refresh e-invoice status and you can see the e-invoice status become valid. We can go to purchase, purchase invoice. You can see the self built document number appear here as well. We will know this particular purchase invoice is already self built And lastly, let us check in our My Invoice Portal. You can also see it appear in your My Invoice Portal for this smart construction supply. It's almost the same on how you perform self build for different scenarios. It's just depending on where you key in the transaction from. It could be most probably from your purchase invoice, payment voucher or journal entry. So that is how you do the self-bill for import goods.